Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to show you the 2014 release of Photoshop CC, how it really is all for designers. Let's dive right in, because I'm going to open up this PSD file, and this happens a lot. You don't have the font that the person was using. Well, since this is a typekit font, notice how it actually matches up with those typekit fonts that I need. I could resolve them. Again, I don't have to worry about hunting down uh, that particular font. In fact, I can point out this font right here. Check this out. I actually want to change the font. Look, as I roll over any one of those font names, it changes that font. So I love this, getting this live preview so I can change it to this new fun font. Hey, why not? And at this point, look at this right in here, Mac LCD. So this will give you exactly what you'd have in a web browser. Okay, so let's move on because I actually want to focus right down in here on these circles. They seem innocent enough, but to align circles up exactly, in fact, I'll duplicate this layer, what you'd have to do is you'd have to drag out lots of ruler guides. But look, even as I drag this new layer, it gives me those guides, okay? In fact, as I drag it out more, Oh look, gives me that exact spacing uh, of that other object so I get it exactly right. So you can see how efficient and quickly I'm able to line up multiple circles the way I want. Notice how in the properties panel gives me the ability to round the corners. So just so you know, this is actually a rectangle that I've just rounded the corners for. And lastly, for the shape, I could always copy the CSS and paste it on a CSS page if I want to. So I have that sort of flexibility and I could adjust the corners independently if I want to as well, but I want to move on because I have some icons here. This is very powerful and what's going on here is these are actually linked smart objects. So I've placed a linked file. And in fact, if I take a look at that particular layer, right click, reveal in Finder, there it is. But this is really powerful because since I'm using Creative Cloud, I could actually be sharing this folder. I could have someone else edit this Illustrator file that could be halfway around the world and my layout would update if he makes that change. In fact, I'm just going to double click on it and notice how I'm in Illustrator and at this point, I can edit this particular file. So whether it's me editing this file or someone around the world, all I need to do is save it, close it, going back into Photoshop, you can see that it updates because it's that linked smart object. And to continue this layout, I'm going to cover another feature right down here. And this is what you'd have. You'd have a particular layout maybe showing some navigation. In fact, notice how what I want to do is I want to show uh, other sections. And in order to do that in past versions, it got really complex when it came to layer comps. But that's what I want to do. I want to create a new layer comp. And notice how you can control the visibility, position, and appearance. So you can control so much more. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to create another one, but I'm going to jump in and turn on these layers, as you'll see right here, for Ninja Sonic. And at this point, I want to turn off the color overlay for blue, and I want to turn it on for the pink layer. So that's what I'm doing, updating those two layer styles adding a new one called Ninja Sonic. Now I have those two layer comps. And the great thing is, is if I decide to uh, move this navigation, for instance, I can update the position. Just clicking right down here, I've updated the position and you can see everything's exactly the same. Layer comps don't break. All right, lastly, this is what I wanna do. Output these files. Let's uh, output this Ninja Sonic JPEG. How about this Wild Leaves JPEG? as many as I want. In fact, for these icons, if I wanted to output them, say for instance, as ping files, just PNG, I can even add folders if I want to. And through the power of this generate feature, I can generate all of those image assets right now. I don't have to worry about chopping up my design. In fact, I'm gonna rush out to that folder. You can see this folder was just created and it just kicked out all of those images as you can see them right there. So it's very powerful what you can do and stay tuned since this is the Creative Cloud version, we will have further updates moving forward as well. Thanks for watching.